Welcome in, welcome in everyone. I am going to wait one minute before we get started. It is scheduled for 1 p.m. It is 12.59. So I'm going to wait here for a few uh, seconds until one o'clock hits. If you are watching the replay and you are not a part of the Blogstar family, please make sure that you subscribe so that you can get reviews and updates on Big Brother and um, also book readings. So become a Blogstar by subscribing and pressing the bell to be notified always for new and upcoming content. Hey. Monica, how are you? Give me one moment, guys. <clears throat> Okay, for replay and for now, if you could please thumbs up the live. Hey, McCray Kings. <clears throat> Hello, all you beautiful people. And again, if you're watching the replay, do not forget to thumbs up the live. Also, do not forget to leave a comment of what you think about um, this content below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It looks like Netflix is catching heat for the Cuties movie. Guys, uh, this movie kind of triggered me. Um, I was not happy. to. My feelings was this was a disgusting movie. I watched it last night. I just could not get with the program, and I'm going to go on to why. Uh, this movie was written and directed by Ma Mamona Decore. Um, the main character is an 11-year-old Muslim immigrant girl, Amy, originally from Senegal, but lives with her mother, Miriam, in one of, the, one of Paris's poorest neighborhoods. Amy becomes fascinated by her disobedient neighbor, Angelica, and her clique of four girls. Um, originally, it was four girls in the beginning of the movie, but it turned to three. They wear scandalous clothing and performs adult dancing in public. These are just 11-year-old girls. Again, 11-year-old girls. During the movie, there was a moment where Amy had started her menstrual cycle for the first time. And this just shows you how innocent these young girls were. This movie also displayed um, the girls were on online sites. They were offended when, especially Angelica, which was like the ringleader of the group, they were offended when they were told that they looked young. They tried to go online and talk to older boys, older men. They wore scandalous. When I say scandalous clothing, they dressed scandalous and um they did provocative type dancing in public their dream was to be and their goal was to be a part of a dance group which was which was a dance group that they created and to uh, be able to perform in this big event the event does happen at the end of the movie you can see where they're in the scene where they're dancing. There are people that are covering their kids' eyes. Netflix is under heat for sexualizing young girls and for the disgusting content distributed on their platform. Cancel Netflix is trending. Fox News states next Netflix should face DOJ action. Some are getting attorney generals to investigate the film for possible violations of child exploitation and child pornography laws. This movie is in French and it has English subtitles. 
I'm not sure if any of you have watched this movie yet, but my views on it is uh, this movie was just a lot to watch. And I had to go back today and watch some parts of it that I couldn't even bear last night. Um, because again, it is it is exposing 11-year-old girls. There was a, a scene where uh, Amy, she was so fascinated by this group and she wanted to fit in so bad. She comes from a Muslim family where they are very strict in their tradition and they're very strict in their religion. And there was even a point where she was going through a rough time in her family because her dad was marrying another woman and their room was in the same apartment as where her and her mother lived. So she had to hear her mother cry and see her mother try to stay strong, knowing that her dad had took another wife. That is a part of the Muslim culture, and I'm not going to get into that. But this little girl had become, Amy had become very rebellious because of this. And it seemed like this group, this dance group of three girls that she wanted to, you know, involve herself in. She was just so fascinated by them to the point where she was willing to do anything. So she began stealing and um, she had taken her dad's phone. And that is where she was able to communicate with the ringleader, Angelica, of the group. Her and Angelica lived in the same apartment building. And they would communicate with each other all the time. Well, there was a scene where her father had walked on into, you know, her. She was in the hallway looking through her phone. And her father walked up on her and figured, like, you had my phone this whole time. So she kind of fights off her dad, and she runs into the bathroom, and she's talking to her friend Angelica. She gets off the phone with Angelica, and her dad's trying to get into the bathroom, and she takes a picture of her private area and posts it online. This movie was so disgusting to watch because these were young girls and this is why Netflix is under a lot of heat for this because the girls were only 11 years old. They didn't really say the ages of the other girls but you could kind of tell that they are around they're all around the same age. I wouldn't put any of them at the age of 13. Like I said the main character is 11. And um, her name is Amy. So all of her friends were pretty much around her age. If anything, maybe the oldest would be 12. So I'm going to open the floor for any questions. And while you guys are typing in questions, if you have them or any comments, I'm going to go ahead and greet those who are in the live. And thank you so much for coming in. Hey, Monica. Hey, McCray Kings. Hey, Trish. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Nick. Make sure you guys thumbs up the live. Did you guys have any questions about this movie? Have you watched the movie yet? Uh... Like I said, I watched last night, and I had to go back this morning and watch, like, 15 minutes of it because I just could not stomach the movie. It was too much. The girls were, um, I, I mean, it was just, it was really a lot to watch and see um, a lot of the things that they were exposing themselves to, a lot of things that they were saying and and doing that was more like on an adult level. Hey, Picking with Charlene. I've never heard of this movie. Yes, it is new to Netflix. It was um, 
It's a 2020 movie. It was written and directed by Maimona Ducare. And this is her debut movie that she has directed. So it's just kind of um, heartbreaking that this is the type of movie that someone will put out because it does turn your stomach. It is hard to watch young girls dance like this and the way they were dressing and the things that they were doing in the movie. A lot of people are saying that it's a, a trigger warning. A lot of people are triggered. A lot of people are upset by this. They're worried about this movie um, pretty much pleasing pedophiles and anyone that is like that, that watches this. And I really just wish that Netflix just took the movie off of their platform. Yes, uh, Patricia. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't suggest anybody watch it. But if you want to know what I'm talking about, it is on Netflix. It is one of the top 10 movies because of all of the controversy that it is causing. A lot of people are talking about it, um, but it is not a pleasing movie to watch at all. So, guys, again, uh, the movie is in French with English subtitles. You can find this movie on Netflix and it is in the top 10 just because it is a controversial movie. I don't think I will watch this movie. Yeah, I wish that I didn't watch it either. I was doing some research last night and I noticed when I had went onto Facebook and Twitter, there was a lot of people that was upset by it. And I was like, well, how bad could it be? And it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. All right, guys. So um, I'm just going to sum this up as like a 10 minute movie review. I don't want to go into detail about the movie step by step because I really didn't enjoy it. But I did want to share that Netflix is catching a lot of heat for this Cuties movie. Um, and I would not suggest that you allow your kids to watch it. Thank you guys so much for coming in and spending time with me today. I hope that you have a blessed day. And I hope that you are highly favored. Again, make sure you thumbs up the live if you have not. If you're watching a replay and you are not a part of the Blogstar family, Make sure that you subscribe, that you press the bell to be always notified for movie reviews, updates on Big Brother, and book readings. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day.